let this be my happy new year message to you guys happy new year and welcome back to my channel this is 2024 and i believe this is your year and this is how to get it to be your year in this video i have created a roadmap that will help you to elevate to the best version of you when it comes to your hygiene beauty class and also to help you to achieve your 2024 goals now if all of this sounds like something that you are interested in then of course continue to watch Now let me give you guys a very brief backstory on my life around 2023 and you guys should let me know if you like this kind of um, sit down videos if you enjoy it around 2023 i started 2023 in january with 500 dollars to my name i was a bit confused about my relationship status i had hormonal imbalance i had clients who were always on my neck that disturbed me night and day i was always under pressure when it comes to work and i didn't really have a direction for my youtube channel now fast forward to december i hit 100,000 subscribers i got my plug okay and i became financially free i stopped attending to clients that didn't respect my boundaries and lastly i elevated to the best version of myself when it comes to my aesthetic my class my beauty my skin everything was just giving everything was glowing i ended the year on a very good note now the difference between 2023 for me and 2022 really is just everything that i'm about to describe to you in today's video part one let's talk about how to elevate your class class is really not about money it is about how you present yourself to people that is what class is class is about maintaining etiquette having good manners and making sure that when people are around you they live with the best impression of who you are now what way can you elevate your class between now and december 2024 you start to keep a journal that you write to yourself every day, that you describe yourself in every day. So take for example, every morning when I wake up and I'll insert a clip here, I tell myself that Eniola is this, Eniola is that. I write affirmations to myself every day that conditions my mindset to make sure that every single day when I wake up and people have connections with me, they live with a classy impression of who I am. Part two, under elevating your class would be to make sure that your appearance is speaking the volumes that your mindset is screaming out that means what kind of aesthetic do you want to have in 2024 are you a boss babe do you want to be a soft babe are you a clean girl do you are you the kind of person that you have a dark feminine aura to you or are you a mixture of everything now if you look at me i'm a clean girl my hair is always straight put together nothing is missing left right and center my makeup looks clean effortless and match in and it matches my undertone everything about me just screams this person is put together i'm never trying to explore anything i'm not trying to take any kind of risk or whatsoever i am sticking to what i know feels like me from the inside out so first of all you need to figure out what your aesthetic is you see somebody that screams that they are clean their hair is always polished and put together it doesn't matter the style that they are on it is always put together they stick to natural colors of hair maybe from blonde to brown to black okay number two their makeup is always simple and minimal and it complements their complexion very very important number three they have a soft feminine fragrance signature to how they smell they are never trying to experiment when it comes to fragrances they've already figured out what makes them smell especially nice and unique and number four they have a collection of colors that they put on in terms of outfits that just screams that this person is clean is minimal and has a very compelling soft aura to them now if you take everything that i've mentioned here and you put it in an Another aesthetic it will be completely different so the reason why I am giving you this as a form of case study is to figure out the kind of person that you are from the inside so it can radiate when it comes to your appearance because 2024 is the year where you need to start to live outside of your comfort zone I bet you if you take a first step of let me give you guys an example last year I told my husband that one of the things that I want to do this year is to, ta is to start to live a very luxurious beautiful expensive lifestyle and with that i want us to start to go to restaurants in the morning 
when it is still scanty where it looks like we booked that place all by ourselves and we did that about three times last year we went to expensive restaurants in the morning and they attended to just us i cannot tell you how remarkably expensive that made me feel and it did something to my mindset like you know what and you're like this is the goal if you get to this goal in life you have succeeded part two would have to be your hygiene sis this is the year where you need to save up and finally just go and see a dermatologist that will create a routine for you a signature skincare routine for you that will follow up on your skin and that will even make sure that your skin starts to thrive because they are going to recommend medical grade skincare products for you some of you are throughout last year all you did was chip out on this chip out on that chip out on that no 2024 is the year where you need to save up to go and see a what a dermatologist once and for all figure out how to solve that skincare challenge that you've been having for the past five years this 2024 baby 2024 is the year where we are going to have a very beautiful full spread of routines for every single day in the week 2024 is the year where you need to make sure that if you don't have an exfoliating skincare routine since i suffered from it last year and i'm telling you from experience this year is the year where you need to take those things seriously 2023 i didn't really follow a very regimented exfoliating skincare routine I, my routine was just mumbo jumbo i'm just being honest but 2024 is the year where you need to have your brightening routine on selective days your exfoliating routine on selective days and even a gentle moisturizing routine on selective days let me know in the comment section if you guys want me to describe this in further details maybe we are going to create a signature perfume combo and we are going to get keep it in 2024 when it comes to your hygiene you need to make sure that you're not just spilling everything to people oh this is the perfume that i use oh you like the way i smell this is the perfume that i use no 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 you are going to create a signature perfume concoction for yourself and you are going to get keep it because have you noticed that celebrities always smell in a very unique way at the very least i've read online that rihanna has a way that she smells that is not common to a lot of people and that's because she has her own fragrance concoction that she sprays on herself that makes her stand out in terms of scent when she's in connection with other people so you also this year you're gonna come up with your own signature perfume combo and it doesn't have to be expensive you can splurge on all these arabian perfumes dubai perfumes all these designer perfumes or niche combo perfumes and just mix it together to create your own concoction and definitely get keep it do not share it with somebody else keep it as your own and make sure that oh this is something that i know is attributed to me when it comes to how i smell next is that 2024 is the year where you need to go for laser treatments if you have hanging skin tags if you have cellulite if you have stretch marks you need to make sure that you save up your money so you can finally go and see a dermatologist and get laser treatment number five is we are going to start to go for regular pedicure sessions in 2024 i don't want to see crusty ankles chapped feet hard skin on the feet your toes are raggedy you've not done your toe corticals in like six months please sis 2024 you need to take your pedicure seriously so that when you show your feet to people or when you wear your slippers your feet looks nice and dainty and just cute and clean and put together lastly under this segment 2024 is the year where we go for quarterly facial extractions or facial skincare therapy sessions that means you will book a spa visit you will book a visit to your dermatologist to get your face maybe if you need to do a chemical peel you need to go for like facial extraction to remove blackheads on your skin you just need extra pampering from a licensed esthetician on a quarterly basis sis i'm telling you i tried it last year i went on two expert treatments to an esthetician clinic and see there is nothing like having a professional care for you because they know what they are doing and you leave that place feeling like a million bucks and feeling pampered see when it comes to hair certain things need to be in sync your cheekbone the shape of your face and how that hair flatters you you need to make sure you are looking out for the hair color the texture the style 
and how it flatters your natural bone structure that's your facial bone structure so if you look at my face now it is oval it's it looks like i have there is something trending there is something trending on tiktok right now and that is high visual weight or low visual weight i realized that my own face has a low visual weight meaning when it comes to my face i have more going on for me when it comes to my eye downward than when it comes to my cheekbone upward going forward you need to make sure that you're doing hairstyles that flatter you some of you it is your natural hair in all its glory in all its fro that suits your hair that suits your face and that just suits your entire aesthetic and all this while you have been covering it with wigs that look and that makes you look especially cheap you have been covering it with wigs that are hard that the texture is bad because you don't just want to maintain your natural hair maybe this year is the year where you need to go for expert treatment to figure out your hair texture the porosity so you can start to learn how to take care of it and wear it in all its glory number two some of you need to just make sure that you make sure that you're sticking to only natural hair colors from brown to maybe a little bit of auburn to maybe a little bit of blonde just stick within natural hair colors that flatter your eye color or even your brows because see doing and fixing all these odd colored hairstyles sometimes it just takes you from looking really really classy to very very cheap all of a sudden and i'm not even joking number three you need to figure out the cut of the hairstyle that looks good on you are you a bob person are you a fringe person are you long layers are you wavy hair are you curly hair are you um coily hair there are different kinds of designs out there in the market that you need to figure out what makes you look especially put together and beautiful some of you it is only bone straight that is going to suit you because your face is very precise and angled you need to figure out the kind of hair that suits you and the only way you can do that is to go on pinterest and search for your face shape and hairstyles that look good on your face shape that was how i figured out my own okay you see ponytails hairs like this this is my i made this hair yesterday this is shuku this is stitch braid shuku in high ponytail this hair always looks good on me ghana weaving plaited hairstyles always look good on me or straight hair that is long or short cut bob looks good on me i have figured it out i have hacked it and that's why every time i come here i always come here in the most confident version of myself maybe this year is the year when you need to figure out what looks good on youtube when it comes to your hair i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i was able to cover about three segments with you guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section if you ended up enjoying today's video thank you so much for watching please guys this is a new year do not skip parts of my video please make sure you are watching it to the end because it helps the algorithm to push my content to other people who also need to watch this video do not also forget to subscribe give me a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching and i will catch you in the next one bye